Homebrew Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on the Homebrew Brewery's channel. It's unbox time. I purchased myself a really nice product. It's the 10 liter version of the Braumeister. I purchased this version online in my uh, homebrew supply store. It costed me about 995 euros. And I received a free stainless steel watcher with it for the 10 liter version. Pick the camera up and give you another angle. Very well packaged. I'm going to remove this. And I unboxed many Braumeisters a couple of years, and this one is special. It's funny to see the big controller on a, a small kettle like this, but it's like a baby. <laughs> Let's lift it out. Oh, it's heavy. It's still heavy. It's small, but still heavy. The only item left in the box is a product catalog with most of the products that Spidel produce. It's nice to have, but uh, the manual and all the Accessories of the Braumeister are inside the Braumeister. The lid of the Braumeister is locked with uh, two tie wraps. I'm going to cut them open. Ah, there we go. The stainless steel hook to lift the mold pipe out. The U shaped bar to rest the mold pipe on. Wing nut. And this is the stainless steel bar that holds the mold pipe down with the wing nut. Manual. A bag with the knobs on the mold pipe and a knob for the lid. So the lid can easily be removed. Hey, there's another tie wrap inside it. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah. It locks the filter plates. Here we go. Everything is nice and tight in place. Oh, that's nice to see. <laughs> A very tiny filter plate. And here we go again. Another filter plate. So two filter plates and two mesh screens. Let's lift the mouth pipe out. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's so cute. When owning a 50 liter brown ice version, this is uh, a baby to me. It looks funny. There's another tie wrap that holds the power cord on the handle. Let's remove it. And the length of the power cord is about 2 meters. Well, you can see the center post is etched with liter markings on it. 8 liter, 10 liter, 12 liter marking. The inside of the Braumeister isn't polished. It's uh, just brushed uh, stainless steel. It's different than the 20 and the 50 liter versions. You have the temperature probe, the pump outlet and the pump inlet. 
This is a, at least a 1200 watt heating coil, electric heating coil. And you can see here the outlet of the Wolf. You can see it's the same controller as on the 20 and the 50 liter versions. Same size. As you can see there are some big spaces between the kettle and the controller. But the front is uh, in line. It looks uh, <laughs> pretty awesome to me. Very nice product. For the sake of this video I'm going to put the Browmeister upside down because now you have a nice view of the bottom. Here we have the power inlet plug, some extension plugs like uh, the Wi-Fi controller. This is this cable with this port is the temperature probe. This port is for the electric heating element. And this is for the pump. This version of the Browmeister has a pump on it which can variate in speed. So you can control with this dial knob the flow of the pump and that's very nice. There's a scale on it, 1 to 7. And our factory it's set on 4. Let's give it some power. As you can see the Browmeister is booting up. Always make sure when you're doing this, the device is full with water, or at least the elements are uh, covered in water, or you make sure the heating element isn't switched on. It's set on a German language. Sprache. Deutsch, Espanol, Francois, English. I like to use English. I think I have great advice for all the Braumeister users owning a 10, 20 or 50 liter version. Let's put it upside down again. My suggestion would be secure this power cable on the Braumeister itself with for example two tie wraps. I will do it now quickly and show you the end result and I will explain why. I've secured the power cord because now it works like a strain relief. I can pull on the power cable and I'm not damaging the controller. Just give it one or two tie wraps, wrap it around something and now the cable is secured. It will happen you once or more times when you clean the Braumeister and you move it away or dump the liquid in it in the sink. You can accidentally pull on the power cable and damage maybe the controller or trip over the power cable, everything is possible. I think this is a nice tip for some users out there. Not especially the Braumeister versions, but also other electric brew kettles. I'm really looking forward to the first brew day with this baby. Let's compare the sizes. This is the 50 liter version and this is the baby 10 liter version. Cute isn't it? Of course I'm joking about calling it a baby. It's a tiny kettle but I'm sure there are a lot of users out there. The 10 liter version is very convenient to handle and brew and I really like to do it uh, myself for the experimental batches as I told you earlier. 
The 50 liter version is going to do my uh, main brews. So I really like to uh, test the 10 liter version and scale the recipe five times to a 50 liter and do a taste test to see if there is uh, any difference between the two kettles. Hopefully you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't. I just made this video to share with you guys the unboxing experience of uh, a nice product like this. Cheers, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you all soon. Up to a brew day with the 10 liter version.